Yes. Okay, welcome to the Linkwitz uh, room, uh, where you first enter and wonder what's going on here with that irregular, unconventional shape of uh, this loudspeaker. Uh, what is different here, in, it's basically three things that are different. First of all, you see the shape and uh, the whole architecture of it. The reason for it is it just nothing else than this uh, uh, transmitting a dipole pattern of sound. Dipole means a lying figure of eight. So you have a null here, the maximums forth and back, and null here. And this is not only open baffle where the dipole is from uh, up to uh, one kilohertz or two kilohertz. We continue the dipole up to the high frequencies with this special shape that is necessary to do this interaction between front and rear side and uh, have the dipole radiation extended to the high frequencies. The special magic that's happening here that you're hearing is due to that shape which illuminates the room and with the room the reflections at the same timbre, at the same uh, sound color in, in, uh, in all directions. Second thing is we don't have resonant structures like boxes. Everything we have is open, so we don't put in energy and then uh, have to first load a resonant structure and then when the signal stops it fades out like a body of a guitar. No, we want to have the signal coming, radiating, and when it stops, the sound stops, because the sound is basically coming just from the cones. The third thing that we uh, discriminate from most of the other speakers you see on the show here is that we going active four-way. That means we have an analog active precision crossover here, which is in a cascaded architecture and uh, with all pass filtering we receive we, we get to a point where we can have a phase coherency through all the drivers <coughs> and uh, this four channel is then amplified by five uh, amplifier channels because each of the woofer ones gets its own separate 250 watts amplifier 125 here 125 here and 100 for the both tweeters together. So you get the whole system from us. You just plug in the system with these XLR cables here. They can be short to have the box near the loudspeaker or they can be up to five meters, seven meters long if you want to place it in a rack somewhere. What you do is you just plug in your player, your tape machine, your streamer, your vinyl whatsoever which has a uh, volume control and then you go, you're ready to uh, go. What is the placement requirements of those speakers? If you put them just to the back wall or to the front wall, let's say it front wall, you have like a conventional speaker. The magic starts to happen once you move them at least one meter from the front wall. From the side wall they need about 80, to 80 centimeters to one meter at least. The purpose of it is that the reflections have at least six milliseconds before they reach their ear after the first sound wave reaching your ear. And that all together makes that depth of sound stage that you hear is not only the, the group between playing between the speakers or somewhere here in front of you. No, we have them deep, even behind the wall, you can uh, see them in, or hear them in your brain. If you enter the room, when we uh, shut down the light, when it's dark, you probably wouldn't be able to locate the speakers uh, from the sound. So sometimes people are sitting here and wondering, the band is playing here, what are these things doing here? <laughs> because you cannot attribute sound, uh, sound coming from those things because they're virtually coming not from those things, but from somewhere behind it. And all the, it's doing, we're helping with these speakers, your brain to perform that trick. That it's a magician's trick, more or less. And we are supporting that by <coughs> bringing as least as possible distractions to uh, create that effect. Make the signal as pure as possible without any artificial things or distortion in it. 
so you have the signal and the rib and uh, the reflections in a way that they uh, contribute to that uh, holographic effect. Thank you. And if you have any questions, I'm happy you, to answer them. So it's an open baffle? It's uh, more than an open baffle. The open baffle would be a dipole up to one point or two kilohertz. And yes, we are open, but we are more than that. We go to the higher frequencies uh, for the dipole uh, pattern as well. Thank you.